All right, let's see here. We are live. Welcome to Play Well Live. Yeah, we got both of us on here, Mike and Ben. Nice to see everybody. And we're going to do a special treehouse edition today where it's a joint treehouse edition. So we've got Mike and Hunter's treehouse they've been working on and the one we've all been working on over here. And Mike and I are going to share some ideas of some things. But first, I wanted to kind of see and show everybody where our tree houses are right now. So we can kind of look at what we're going to add. So um, do you want to show us where Hunter, how Hunter's tree house is looking and what you guys have got so far? Sure. All right. So Ben is outside. I live in Seattle. I'm not building a tree house outside. It's going to be uh, just a, a swimming pool. I guess we did swimming pools. So uh, maybe we could have done that. But here we go. All right. Let's see here. I need, oh, to, it's grown. Uh, I need to do some rearranging. But here is our Yay. greenhouse. Here, I'll hold you up so we can we can check it out. All right. So oh, what Andrew and I did is we uh, mounted some of these just branches that we had. Actually, there were some firewood that we had that uh, was nice and clean. So we mounted those on a little uh, little structure here that I cut out of an old desk. So there you go. All right, and uh, watched some of Ben's early treehouse videos and got our got our tabs in there and uh, see if you can see it under there sort of yeah we've got our axles drilled into there and here's our treehouse I love it things here we've got our, our big door that can separate the different sides of our treehouse we've got some uh, some special playground equipment we've added just for today that we'll, we'll talk about cool. a little, uh, little treehouse garden area over here uh, a little uh, little cafe as well. There's oh, a little, there's a little kitchen back here. Oh, you uh, have a little like egg beater piece or something I saw. Yes, in yes. That was oh, cool. There's new sets. All right, <laughs> then we've got, uh, let's see, over here we've got whoop, Unikitty's little landing pad here as well. Um, you know, important things here. I love that's it. That's sort of where we're at. Um, we're at. I'll talk about some of the playground equipment that we've added here in a little bit. Awesome. And so, yeah, we were going to, the big addition that Mike and I wanted to add today was some playground equipment. We had some people, I think Hunter wanted to do that. And we had some also some other suggestions of adding uh, some playground equipment. So here's our tree house that we've been working on. And um, it's kind of, I'm holding my computer here. So hopefully everybody can see. But we started way at the base over here. Remember, we have in a real tree, we talked about how we can use tabs or treehouse attachment bolts. And mm -hmm. we have basically axles in the tree and then it rests, the deck rests on the tree. And we have another deck up here. Again, I really can't see if you're seeing it okay. So Mike, tell me to go up or down. Yep, I'm, I'm seeing it, yeah. But down here we have, and all these were suggestions from people. We have our balcony, our art museum that had all of our art eaten by bugs. We have our second level. Over here, we have our elevator that runs off of solar power down there. And so if we go like this and make this, oh, I don't know if it wants to go right now. There it goes. Oh, yep, nice. And that's running off solar power. And then we have our little swimming pool over here and our ball pit. And up here is a trap door that, that can drop into the ball pit. And here, what we're gonna do for our playground, we added a huge Ferris wheel. And we're going to show people how to make some Ferris wheels. And we're going to turn that on at the end here and see how this goes. So I'm coming in. I have my little, my little elf here, my daughter. And so we're going to, what we want to do is we want to show you all how to make one of those Ferris wheels. And we want to see what Mike and Hunter wanted to show yep. us. And then we'll just share some ideas. Fantastic. Okay. So I'm just making sure that I've got uh, our comments visible as well. I think I think I do. I haven't seen any comments yet, but uh, okay. let's hope those are those are working correctly. Um, yeah, what do we think? Do you want uh, Do you want me to show some of my stuff first here? Yeah, why don't you show some stuff? Okay, so we've added a few things to our treehouse, and I'll uh, I'll bring some of them down to to look at what we're doing here. We built well. Maybe I'll just show you in person here first. All right. So let's see. What do we have so far on ours? We've got. A nice little slide here. I'll show you how we built that slide with some little railings there. We've got, uh, oh yeah, so Ben did a video about zip lines a while back and those were awesome. And then I was doing some playground stuff the other week and, and came up with a different method for a zip line. So I've got a different zip line going on here. Cool. In the middle. So we've got 
um, our zip line, which is on a, a harder kind of track here. So it's with, a, with just with plates with a fully Lego zip line so that I can slide down the middle of my treehouse there. So we can take a look at that zip line. Uh, and then, ooh, yeah, okay. The last thing we added, which maybe I'll show you last. Let's see if we can zero in on where it is. Oh, it's all the way around here. I've got this rubber band, this little tightrope here. And we're gonna have a little uh, kind of uh, balance bike that can go back and forth over on that. Yeah. Over there. So we'll see, maybe I'll show that one last here. Uh, so, all right, let's take a look first at, at our little slide here, okay. Using a lot of a lot of the methods that we've used in in other things, so I've got my slide here, which is mounted onto just a little brick staircase with uh, some plates using kind of our plate hinging technique. Okay, and if I take that staircase off of here, I can show you what we did. So I build kind of the the main part of this slide, uh, and uh, let's see. Oh, looks like my parents are are. Uh, commenting looks so cool big and little all right thanks mom and dad we've got the big tree house and the little tree house <laughs> all right so i've got for my slide i just built you know with bricks just a little wall essentially but then with some of these two by plates i can put them hanging off the top and add a little railing oh let's see am i getting some feedback there okay we're good all right yes valerie commented overlapping very important all right, and then what I discovered is if you put um, if you put your little one by plates hanging off of there, but not both on the outside. If you put them essentially on the same side of of the plate, then you can have them line up correctly to go into the studs on on your brick. Wait, so can I see that again? How you did that? We have our slide like this, and then what do you add? You add your one by plate. I add my one by plates and on don't, it's tempting to put oh. them like both on the inside or both on the outside. Yeah. But if you put one on the inside edge and one on the outside edge, then they're going to be the same distance apart as our, as our normal studs. So then it can just wedge into the studs on our brick. I love it. And then this wedge is here. And you can and customize how steep your slide is. Yeah, that is brilliant. I love it. So there's my little, there's my little slide. You want to try? Okay, hold on. Alma wants to try a, per a person on it to see if it actually works. Yes. Uh, yeah. you, make it. you see how the way it works? You can make it bigger. You can make it bigger or smaller. It can go up or down. Okay, here we go. We're testing ours. Let's see. Go. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> That's great. That's nice because then you don't need smooth tiles. You could just use the side of the bricks. I love it. Totally. All right. So there's a little, there's a little slide. Cool. Add that up there. You want to show us the zip line and then yeah. I can show you, I'll show you the Ferris wheel thing. We can do that one after that. Let's see here. I'm trying to think if I want to separate this from here or if I want to show it up in here. Let's see if I can separate it. Gently. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I think I got it. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's bring your zip line down. Okay. I left a couple of steps behind. Let me grab those steps. All right. So let's see our zip line here. Okay. So I wanted a way to create um, a nice shorter zip line. Obviously, I could make this longer if I wanted to. Um, but instead of using like yarn or string or something like like Ben used in the in his live stream, I wanted to use it with Lego. But then I was like, how can I easily get this at an angle, right? Because getting angles with, with the, just the regular bricks and plates and stuff is tricky. So if you don't have the hinge or something like that. So let's see here, let me take off my little cart there. Basically, I just built a couple of towers. This one has a, a nice little staircase going up of it. But I just built some brick towers and made them nice and overlapped. I'm always overlapping, you know me, I have to talk about overlapping every single time I'm on here, just because. And then, I just left a little groove. So I just used some two by twos on the top and left a little groove in there to fit my, my zip line cable essentially, which is gonna be just plates. So then what I did is I took as many of these long skinny plates as I could, but this could be done with skinny bricks. It could be done with regular bricks. It really could be done with anything. The key is then that it's gonna be upside down 
to allow us to slide along it, right? So all it is is a long overlapped stretch of any kind of piece, really, whatever you have that fits. But then the key is that on the end, I've got a little T because that is gonna keep this from going through the groove. Got it. Beware the groove. Oh my gosh, that movie is fantastic. All right, anywho. Um, all right, so then it just slides down into this groove here and that little T that I have on the end prevents it from falling through it, all right? Okay. So now I could just make that go all the way down to the ground, but if you don't want your, uh, your zip line carrier to run into the ground, it's gotta have a little tower to support it at the end. So I just have another T on this other end, slide that into my groove as well. And there's a zip line, right? And you can make this as long as you want. You can make it as steep as you want just by changing how tall the towers are, how far apart they are, right? And I just put a little brick on top on each end to sort of keep that from falling out, okay? Now, right now I could go, I can go closer together because I don't have a T kind of on both parts of it, but it just depends where you're gonna kind of anchor these, okay? So does it have to be pretty, it has to be pretty steep in order to get that thing to slide down, right? So yeah, you can experiment with that a little bit. I've, I've found, you know, how, uh, how much of a daredevil are your, uh, your zip liners? <laughs> um, you gotta have it steep enough so that gravity can, can start it, right? Cause there's a bit of friction there, but if you just start it, whoop, there we go, it slides down there. And then the, 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 the little carrier that you built again, can be made out of anything because if you've used these skinny plates, you just want something that has one stud of width, right? So I just have a little plate that I've attached some of these long ones to. Oh, it works. Okay. And then if you want to put a little seat on it, just after you wrap it around there, you can add a little seat onto the bottom. But these can look like anything as long as it fits over it, right? If you uh, use if you use bricks, if you use regular bricks to make your, your cable, all you need to do is leave a larger space between the parts of that and it can go on there, right? I can make a little zip line on bricks, okay? Oh, that is so it's cool. On the, the bottom side of those, those pieces. Brilliant. All right, so we've got we've made them already, Mike. We've got a we've got your slide. It works Beautiful. great. The zip line is totally working too. We just have to maybe it'd be easier if I was anchored, but the zip line works great. Amma, did you say you had an idea on this one? What would a plate on the bottom of it? Oh, a big base plate. That's a good idea. Right. Oh yeah, something to anchor those anchor yeah, the ends of it. Yeah, great idea. Then it won't. Thank you, Amma. That's a great idea. All right, so now I think I like I like oh, building I a little way for my people to get up there. So I just built a little kind of spiral staircase sort of thing around the side of it to get them up to to get yeah, on. Oh, that works better. Do it again. Yep. Nice. Much better. Yeah. Do you see the spiral staircase? All right. So um, we'll show you real quick um, a simple Ferris wheel that we came up with. Yeah. And and we again wanted to try our Ferris wheel using only only bricks. And I stole a lot of old ideas from our old live streams and <laughs> just adjusted them. So what I did is I adjusted our old gear project, the brick gear project, which yeah. made these little shapes like this using two by four bricks and, you, and, and had the little, uh, uh, the little hinge pieces and made them exactly the same to start with, but then we had to do a little bit of modification. So we started, I'll just kind of build this one out. And if anybody wants to, see that if you need more instructions that it was the brick gear video and then once we build this kind of basic structure like this if we remember what happened was when we did our gears we had this center thing like this which basically was like a round four by four round hub and and this slid and moved on it now if we were going to make a ferris wheel we wanted to be able to turn this and lock these together so the way that we did that is basically, well, the first thing I need to do is build this out a little bit more. So I'm gonna add just a few more bricks on these, on these ends here to make it really look like my star. I'll reinforce those in a little bit. And then to lock this to my middle four by four, I just use some plates. And the important thing is 
you don't want to cover the middle because that's where you'll have your, your little handle part. And so you kind of have to look at it to see how it lines up. But you can see if I go like this, I don't want to cover the middle because if you have an axle, you can go right through there. And there's and that's how I powered my big one outside. Um, or, or you can put a two by two round brick right in the center as well. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend these a little bit more. So I'm just making these a little bigger. I just added some more bricks. So these are all on the same level. And then on the other side, I can also put one of those plates. And so now what's, what's beneficial about this is if we go like this and I put, if I want to just make a simple handle using these rounds, I can stick this on the back like that. Um, I think I might need some more of these. And if you remember, we've got our little frame and the, and the hole is a two by two round hole and I have a few tiles on the bottom, which just helps out. And then if I stick this through here, it turns perfectly and it looks kind of like a windmill. And now um, I would like Ama to show us how we're gonna make. So now if I turn the back, I can turn this plate right here. And because the, the, the round is locked to my gear using those plates, now it actually, instead of sliding on the center, it slides in the frame and I can turn the whole thing. And so now we need some seats for our Ferris wheel. I know we kind of changed from a playground to a more of an amusement park, but we, we, this is what we figured out in the time we had. So how do we make our seats, Amma? Can you show us what we do with these, with these beams? I'm gonna move some of Mike's uh, playground equipment here. So what Amma's doing is just stacking these up. And if you don't have these, you can just use one at the top and you can use skinny, you can use bricks like this if you have skinny bricks. Um, it helps if you have one of these beams at the top, but if you don't have that, there's other ways we can do it. So we've got this and then to it, and then show us how you wouldn't do with the bricks. And there. And one there. And now we've got one of our little seats. And then what does this do? Do you remember? And what we're gonna do is on the end of this, kind of like the petals of a flower, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little brick to have it sticking out just a little bit from the mm -hmm. side like this. And then on that, we're gonna put one of these, if you have these plates, there's they're little plates that have a pin sticking out like that. And then what do we do with our seat? We snap it on. And you can see this is the way that the seat goes. Why does that not turn upside down, Amma? How come, how come it always is facing down? Do you have an idea why? Where's the heavy part? The heavy part is down below where the fulcrum is or where the bending part is. And so we can put, this is my son made this person so I can put a little, oh my gosh, he lost his mask. We can put a person on it and we can turn it around turn the Ferris wheel around and you can see they're all the people are always facing up because the main most of the mass of that seat is down below so it always pulls down so while we look at Mike if you want to show us something else Ahmed do you want to build the rest of the seats for this mini Ferris wheel and we'll show them in a bit nice okay I love the uh yeah the the minifigures that get uh, a conglomeration of different uh different things yeah here's the one that yeah. uh, that Hunter's a big fan of right Ooh. now yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, we got a we got a bunch of mix-ups. Yeah. So. Um, I also wanted to say, I, if, if you know, if you're someone who's watched a, a number of these videos, you might start to see kind of techniques that Ben and I have discovered over the course of these videos that we really like to use because they're just really versatile. Like he's got this, the Ben, you've got those frames that you use a lot, and with the round bricks because that's just a really cool technique we've discovered over the course of doing these and kind of experimenting and coming up with these things. So it's it's really cool. Um, I, I've done a couple of projects where, where you use just kind of a groove between some bricks because it, it gives you some versatility that you're not used to with the Lego. So I think that's just a really cool, cool thing we've kind of discovered by and, doing this. And it's something that if we would have never had this, you know, this horrible thing that has gone on and forced us to all be at home, Mike and I are used to teaching our classes with, you know, tons of tons of cool Lego and we've never yeah. really had to figure out these problems. And so Again, most of these things we're trying to figure out is because we're trying to help kids at home build with what they have at home. So we're trying to figure out other ways to do things. So it's been really fun. 
to try to figure that stuff out. Well, let's see. Uh, um, Valerie is, is Duval, right? Uh, that's Duval. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So yeah. Duval, you're right. This is um, part of this is from the the Edna minifigure from uh, uh, the Incredibles, but it's also a combination of one of the little like kids from the winter. Like uh, I think it's from I think it's from the um, Advent calendar, the, the the Lego Advent calendar. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's see here. So I wanted to also make a little bit of, uh, you know, for the more daring uh, playground participants, we've got our little uh, little tightrope over here, and um, this is using some of the same things that our that our zip line used. Um, like like Ben, when you were talking about it, kind of balancing, you know, where the weight is is centered. So the cool thing about these kind of balance tightrope things. Is you can you can put your your weight down below and balanced, and it and it holds it on there really well. So like if I just had, let's see here, if I just had a little a little wheel here that I was gonna like balance on here, this is crazy, right? Is this gonna stay on here? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't stay on at all. It's got the little groove in there where that should fit. I'd have to be really talented though to to like ride this back and forth and balance it on there. Okay, but if you start adding weight down below this and off to the sides, you're creating something that's gonna balance better because we've got the center of gravity lower down here. So let's see if I can balance right now. Okay, I added just a few bricks on each side. Okay, it's, it stays on there, let's see. Cool. It stays on there pretty well, right? And, and the, more, the more I add down there, so I add a couple more layers of bricks underneath there. Right. It doesn't really even matter what I do to my uh, to my line; it stays on there, right? Hey, Amma, do you know do you know what it is? What's it called? The the kind of middle or the balancing point of your body or of a thing? Do you know what it's called? Center. Center of mass. Center of mass. Center so of by mass. by having the weight down below, it changes where the center of mass is. So right. If that's below the bending part, then it's going to stay. Right. So if you out. looked at this, you see how it's heavy down here, right? The center of mass is going to be somewhere down here. Things are balanced side to side. So the center of mass is still underneath my center point, which is really important. I, I don't want it tipping. Okay. Well, and I want to say hi to Otto. Thank you for your note, Otto. Love you. All right. So then I've got, uh, I can, I can raise and lower Whoa, this. Oh, I love it. Send my character back and forth across this, uh, this little balance line here. I think, you know, if I, if I would kind of flesh this out a little bit more, I'd put maybe little pedals on here so that it could be like, you know, the person can, can pedal back and forth on there. For me, what I reminded, this reminded me of was years ago when I was a kid at um, the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, they had like a big ring, a little skinny ring that you would ride a bike out on. And because the weight was so far down below there, you could just ride this bike out around around this ring out over space and and you're like you're on a you know you're on a platform that wide and you're riding this bike around there but um oh, it was just God. so cool because it was it was so easy to do because they had that weight it's so perfectly balanced way down below their center of mass was so low there was no chance of tipping off of it so so well we're going to show you uh we worked on on a big a big brick um roll uh what is this called ferris wheel <laughs> this is almost got one it looks like oh look I think we're working with barely pulling each other. It almost got one. Yeah, nice. There. But we Nobody made one outside and it's big and it still is only with bricks. So, but we powered it up and so we're going to turn it on outside in a second. But before we go, Mike and I wanted to give you just a little heads up on, on our plans because we're very excited next week. Um, I'm going to be teaching our first summer camp, which is really exciting. And so we're gonna have to change around our live videos a little bit. I think we're gonna stop the daily ones right now because we're gonna go to you know, start our summer camps up. And Mike is still gonna do, I think the challenge editions on Monday for a while. And we'll still, I might have time to put a video in here or there, which would be great. But we have had so much fun working with everybody. Mike and I have, you know, we talk to each other and we think how fun it is to kind of come up with these ideas and share them with so many people. So we want to thank everybody for watching. And I want to give a special little shout out to, um, to Chrissy and Mike Luong, because I see them on here all the time and they don't really comment, 
but I know they're watching. And Mike and I, we have so much love for all of our Playwell um, team. And this yeah. is such a sad time and a lot for all of us because we're trying to figure this out. But every, you all are with us all the time and we're thinking of you and thank you those of you who've been watching and just at least sending us good thoughts so i just wanted to say that um mike anything else about kind of the future totally plan? i mean these 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 live sessions they're so fun for us where they're so invigorating we we love doing them so i'm gonna um like ben said i'm gonna keep doing my challenge edition ones i love when those ideas come in things like the idea for the spirograph that just got me so so jazzed i love it um, I'm, it's right here next to me still because I just keep tinkering with it. Um, but yeah, so keep those ideas coming. If you ever just have an idea that you want to see, comment it, post it on our page. It doesn't matter where it is. We'll, we'll see it. We'll find it. We'll, uh, we'll engage with that. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep getting fun stuff out there. But like Ben said, we're also going to transition a bit into our summer camp season, virtual, uh, virtual summer camps, which are going to be super fun. Um, and, and where should people go, Mike, to get information uh, yeah just head over to play-well.org there's um there's a link directly on there to virtual summer camps um we're also running a lot of things through local rec departments and things so keep an eye out there if that's where you've taken our programs before keep an eye out with your local rec department to see if we're getting something going with them too awesome. all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna sign off we're gonna see if we can power up this uh, Whoa, ferris wheel without without destroying everything so yeah. um here you can see we have the same the same brick, it was the same exact center as we did with our brick gears. Someone's doing some work back there, sorry for the noise. But it, we extended it out and we made the seats exactly. Ama and my son Otto helped me with making those seats and we'll power it on. There we and go. So we've got our, our kind of finale and maybe we can try to add some of Mike's zip lines and, <laughs> and slides to this thing as well. It's a little hard for me to build on this thing and film at the same time. So I know it's hard, but we just want to say thank you to everybody and stay safe and hopefully see you this summer for camps. Yeah. And I mean, come on, check out that epic treehouse. This is just. Yeah. And this is, epic. this is, you know, from everyone's ideas that you sent in, it was, it's, it's a pretty special thing. It's one of the most special things. And I actually want to tell you, I did do one thing. I sent a little note to Treehouse Masters, to Pete Nelson Treehouse Masters. Did you? Just to say, thank you for your inspiration and tell them. And they wrote me back and they said, we do our show for people like you all and they wish us the best. So we actually got a note back from Pete Nelson Treehouse Masters, which is Very exciting. pretty cool. All right, <laughs> we're gonna sign off. Mike, thank you so much. And um, you, we'll see you all soon. All right, cheers. Bye. <laughs>